Yeah. I was around a bunch of like-minded people, you know, such as my my bandmate and other friends from New Jersey, and yeah, I, I guess we fell in love there. Yeah. Growing up, mutual friends around the area, so you know, I, I, I was always around those people, and we kind of clicked and molded together as a unit. So we were looked at as you know the weirdos of our town. Yeah, yeah. Because we dressed different, we were into different music, we looked different, we weren't your average coming from the neighborhood that we yeah. lived in, you know? We grew up in urban communities, pretty much the ghetto, as a lot of people would say, you know, everybody's wearing baggy jeans and big t-shirts and here we come wearing tight jeans, nail polish, and just all types of shit that you wouldn't normally see. We were looked at as, you know, fucking weirdos. Yeah. yeah. First time I felt beautiful, damn. What really comes to mind is the first time I like adopted this character, this alter ego, to wear like a wedding dress on stage. That shit felt really liberating. Yeah. yeah. Just where we're from too is just like a whole gender thing, like, you know, like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, gays and blah blah blah. Like we fight for everybody. We're for everybody, so Yeah. We was at a party one time and I wore a cheetah skirt and fishnets and some Doc Martens. Yeah. And I was trying to, like, a few people was coming up to me dudes, girls, all types of people trying to holler at me. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, damn, it must be the fit tonight. I feel fucking beautiful. Boom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>